gathered to celebrate. My beautiful daughter, Princess Nyla, reached a transition in life to womanhood. It takes a special person to be a leader and accept the role of royalty. A princess must be humble, show patience, and be kind to others. When in doubt, always remember a Nazi, the spider. Thank you, mother and father. I gladly take the responsibility that you have bestowed upon me. Princess Nyla accepted the responsibility, all right. She went amongst the village people, flaunting her new status. She was mean to her friends and anyone else who wasn't royalty. to be in my sight. Just get away. If people didn't already know, I am an official princess now. We were at your coming of age ceremony, Princess Nyla. Your parents said in order to be a good princess, you have to be kind to people. Were you not listening? I was there, you know. I heard what they said. But they're not here right now, are they? So I'm in charge. What I say goes. If you don't want to do what I want to do and how I want to do it, then you need to disappear. Oh, she's the meanest princess ever. I wish someone would teach her a lesson. I'm the princess, and people are just going to have to realize that. Princess Nyla, I watched everything that just happened between you and your friends. You were very rude and arrogant. Princesses should not behave in that manner. Oh, what do you know? You're just a stupid spider. Be careful who you put down in life. Something like that happened to me. And look at me now. Who cares what happened to you? I'm a princess and you are probably just a peasant. Go away, dumb spider. I could squish you if I wanted to. Ah! Oh my goodness! What's happening? selfish and disrespectful. As a consequence of your actions, I'm turning you into a spider until you learn your lesson. Princess Nala hurried to pray to her kind gods. She prayed that they turn her back human. She promised that she'd be a kind person moving forward. Nothing happened when she asked for forgiveness. Actions speak louder than words in some cases, and this was one of those cases. Thanks. 
Princess Nyla, it's really not that bad being a spider. If you're willing to be friends with me, I'll show you a few things that I've learned as a spider. I'm sure if you follow my lead and acquire more knowledge, you'll be human in no time. <laughs> Would you really do that for me, Anansi? I was mean to you before, and I'm so sorry. I see that you are a much friendlier creature than I'll ever be. I'm thankful for you already. I'm grateful for your kind words. Now let's begin. The first thing you need to learn is how to weave a web. A web to a spider is more than just a home. Can you tell me what you can learn from weaving a web? This is so hard. I live in a big house, not a spider web. My house brings me shelter from the winds and rains. I didn't build it. I don't know what you can learn. Princess Nyla, you have to try. These things are not going to come to you just at once. You have to make an effort to learn. Patience is the key. The two continued on for many days, learning life lessons throughout Anazi's community. After a while, Princess Nyla finally began to get the hang of things. She realized that everything isn't just about her. Being of royalty is a privilege, and it's not to be taken for granted. She also realized that true friends don't necessarily mirror her image. Anansi, I've been a spider for such a long time, and I think I've truly learned my lesson. Do you think the gods will ever make me human again? I know that I have to be patient, but I really miss my family. In due time, princess, in due time. I must say, when we first began, I wasn't fully prepared for the challenge which was ahead of me with you. Getting to know you during this time has been a great pleasure. I've never known anyone to make such a change as the one you've made. I'm very impressed, and I can honestly say that I've fallen in love with you. Oh, Anansi, I wasn't expecting you to say that. I'm a little caught off guard. I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to spend time with you, even if it was under these circumstances. Truly, I think I've fallen for you too. There's never been anyone in my life to show me the things that you've shown me, not even my parents. Princess Nala, I'm impressed. I didn't think it would take this short of a time for you to come full circle and develop into a humble princess. You've done your time and your actions have spoken louder than your original words. I'm glad to see that you realize the value of family and how important it is not to always think of yourself first. Anansi, if you wish, I'll grant you to become human along with Princess Nala. If I can spend the rest of my life with Princess Nala, I'll be more than happy to turn human now. Then let it be so. Oh my goodness! I'm finally human again! I can't believe it's been an entire year! I'm so excited to see my mother and father. I can't believe I'm human after all these years. I'm elated to spend the rest of my life with you as long as you remember all of the things we went through this last year. The king and queen were ecstatic to see their daughter again. They were extremely surprised to find out she was engaged as well. We're happy for the both of you, Nala. But while you were away, did you learn your lessons? Do you embody the traits that a true princess is supposed to have? Yes, Father, I have. I know that I have to be patient. I know that I'm not always the center of attention. I know that people of my land are just as important as anyone else. Being a spider for a year taught me a lot of things, and I'm very grateful to be a princess again. Now I'm ready to accept the responsibility of being a wife. Anansi and Princess Nala were married as soon as possible. The two had a beautiful wedding and lived happily ever after. Occasionally, Princess Nala would have a forgetful moment, but it wouldn't last long. She'd remember all the trials and tribulations she'd gone through in that one year and quickly got back on track. The star doesn't always have to play the leading role. I'm
Yeah.